If you're looking for the best baby grand piano, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Casio PZ 860 BK Privia Digital Home Piano. If one of the best digital grand piano makers is going to cut some quality from a base to save cost, at least they did skim on sound quality or realistic keyboard action. The keys feel like the ivory keys of an acoustic, and the pedals work very smoothly. This Casio has both internal memory and USB connectivity to expand its musical capabilities. Probably the most remarkable thing about this keyboard for its price is the 256 notes of polyphony. And the keys are very sturdy, with speakers that can handle the sound. So pounding out a heavy Ratchman and Ob is conceivable on this keyboard. It's difficult to beat this sound quality and engineering for around $1,000 to make the sound even more realistic. Casio's AIR processor uses four levels of dynamic sampling so the sound can be adjusted for any nuance. The piano includes a fun concert play mode that has 10 different professionally recorded concerts to play along with. This is one of the top digital grand piano models that Casio makes in this price range. It will hold its own against any similar brand when it comes to sound quality and realistic feel. The stand is cheap, but this is part of the affordability. It's definitely a good buy for the money. Moving on to the next at number two with Yamaha YD Pone 103 Area Series Piano. This Yamaha electric grand piano has quite a few nice features that make the playing experience more enjoyable. The matte finish on the black keys, even though they are plastic, makes your fingers less likely to slip. The half damper and sustain work well together to create dynamic sustain levels. The keyboard can be divided to play two voices at the same time. It has great connectivity options. You can connect to a computer via standard USB or connect to iOS via the UDB tone or a lightning USB camera adapter. It can even be connected to iOS via a wireless Bluetooth connection. It's actually almost recommended to have an iPad or iPhone and the free apps handy with this instrument as they make changing voices and utilizing the controls so much easier. It's a well-built Yamaha digital grand piano, both sturdy and beautiful, but the most important aspect is the sound and the thumping keys are a distraction at quieter sounds. Also, like the DGX 660 b it just sounds better with headphones than the onboard speakers. It is a good purchase, and Yamaha makes excellent machines, but it would be good to check a few other digital piano reviews before purchasing this one just to be sure it will truly suit your needs. It should definitely be in the top running spot on your list for the price range. The number three position is held by Williams Rhapsody 288 Key Console Digital Piano. There are a lot of nice features on this that make it fun to play. The 12 voices include a nylon guitar and strings, so it's possible to put together a small chamber group with the built-in two-track memory. The volume is likely to get quite distorted on the lower half of the piano at higher volumes. Other than that, it makes a pretty sound, if not as close to genuine as some regular keyboards in the same price range. The weighted keys are closer to the feel of an acoustic, but not as heavy as they should be. The 64-note polyphony is great, but it still tends to get a bit choppy with very fast, intense playing. You get what you pay for. This is more of a digital keyboard than an electronic grand piano, but with that considered, if you really want a console piano, it's a nice one. If you need fuller sound and fully functional pedals, you may want to check other reviews for a fuller sounding option with a fully functional input for a three-pedal set. Next at number 4, we have Korg 88 Key Lifestyle Piano. This piano has just about every edition you could want when searching digital piano reviews for the most features at the least price. It has a decent sound, but advanced users will notice some small problems. For instance, there's a lot of clicking when hitting the keys, and some of the higher ones have a tinny ring in the background when they are struck. It's not a sound that comes from the speakers, rather it's a physical effect of the keys themselves. It's not something that one will notice at a higher volume, but then again, isn't the entire purpose of buying this type of piano so that one can have a near full level of expressiveness. Not being able to play at low volumes without those clunks defeats the purpose a bit. If you are needing a piano that gets an extremely professional sound for a performance, then this will suit your purposes fine. 
The extra features give users a lot to experiment with and have fun, and the sound is reasonable for the price range. But it won't be 100% fulfilling the experienced player. The number 5 position is held by Cow IC at Wall 120 Digital Piano. The counterbalanced, graded hammer action wooden keys are the nicest feature we have noticed in many reviews, and the sound is absolutely brilliant. The speakers complement the sampling perfectly so that it's nearly indistinguishable from the best baby grand piano in the right settings. It sounds even better through headphones than it does through the speakers. This is a medium price digital piano at around $2,000 and comes with tons of wonderful features. The 192 note polyphony lets you produce an amazing amount of sound without drop notes or skips. The USB output lets you connect easily with your computer so you can record the 22 available instrument voices with ease. The pedals aren't smooth like with a regular piano. They still have a plasticky, choppy move like what you would expect from a less expensive external pedal for a workstation. The voices include both instrument and percussion, so there's lots of room for creative experimentation. Not only will this be a nice addition to a living room that doesn't take up a lot of space, but this digital piano will please even the most finicky ear. It's not a $10,000 digital baby grant, but it is the next best thing. This is a good purchase if it is in your budget. The number six position is dominated by Yamaha DG X660 Digital Piano. This will make an acceptable grand piano for a beginner or intermediate player who wants a nice looking keyboard in the house that doesn't take up too much room. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound as genuine as it should. This is not likely because of poor sampling, as Yamaha knows what they are doing in this department. As a matter of fact, the sound damper is designed to provide an even more genuine sound by mimicking the resonant vibration between strings as an acoustic would. And through the headphones, this all comes through very beautifully, if you have a decent pair. Unfortunately, the speakers don't kick out the adequate volume to fill a larger room or pay justice to the sound as well as a genuine acoustic would. The difference between headphones and onboard speakers is very noticeable. The only other serious negative is that the weighted keys feel much stiffer than an average piano. Of course, this just means that players will build up finger strength with practice. Still, some may find it difficult to play. One of the neat features of this grant is the ability to choose the type of piano you want to play and the room sound. You can also adjust the lid of the piano. There's a microphone input for those who like to sing along as they play. This Yamaha Digital Baby Grand Piano also has the wireless capability with iOS, so that users can digitally stream their music to the keyboard and play along. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Suzuki Musical Instrument, 88 Key Digital Pianos. When the piano arrives, this is definitely a two-person assembly job, so make sure you have help available for setup. The only sound quality issue with this piano involves the pedals. First of all, they are noisy, but they also don't quite hold reverb as long as you would expect. You will probably have to fiddle with the settings in order to get it the way you want it. Other than that, the sound quality is every bit as good as the MDG 400. It will fit into small spaces since it's only two for deep and fill any room with warm, rich sound. If you are looking for the best digital grand piano sound, but can't afford to throw down as much as it takes to buy the MDG 400, the MDG 300 is your second best choice. The number eight position is held by Suzuki, 88 key digital pianos. Well, this is the cream de la cream of all our best baby grand piano reviews. In addition to the amazing sound and feel of this truly grand piano design, they spared no expense on even the small extras. The LCD screen is full color, and the Bluetooth feature works seamlessly. The best feature of this electric baby grand piano is the six-way stereo sound system. A lot of companies will spend enormous amounts of time and effort getting the sound samples to work perfectly with the processor's clock speed and then completely ignore the quality of the speakers that are meant to deliver the perfectly sampled and engineered sound. This is a waste of both programming effort and hardware. Suzuki had this in mind when they created the MDG 400. They created designed the machine to deliver the tiniest nuance and made sure the speakers would be able to deliver all with crystal clear sound. No monotonous on low key higher volumes here, and no missed notes with the 128 note polyphony. Next at number 9 we have Suzuki MDG 300 Red Micro Grand Digital Piano. It's a very pretty and very small baby grand. Unfortunately, good things don't necessarily come in this small package. The velocity-sensitive keys aren't implemented properly with the processing speed and sound sampling, as volume is changed while playing. 
you can feel the gaps in the sound where the output switches over. A Yamaha that cost half as much would provide a smoother sound. This is one of those cases where the production company skimped on sound and spent it on the stand instead, and that's always the wrong choice to make. It also doesn't keep up with playing speeds as fast as a baby grand can handle. There's a world of difference between the way an upright piano and a grand piano operate, and the difference is very noticeable in the hands of an expert player. Grand piano keys can sound out roughly three times faster than upright piano keys, because they rely on gravity instead of springs to return the key to the striking position. Good digital grand piano designers will keep this in mind. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Kawai KD P90 Digital Piano. The key feel and pedal action of this piano are exceptionally close to realistic upright piano feel. The sound won't quite match the best digital baby grand piano, but it comes quite close, and the sound matches an upright sound beautifully. Kawai traded all the extra bells and whistles that you find with the most expensive and best digital grand piano models to concentrate on the quality of the sound. This makes the KD P90 one of the best buys on the market when measured by sound quality and playability. The 192-note polyphony allows for seamless layering of complex musical samples with the built-in recording functions. If you are looking for a piano that will sing true, as you become a very advanced player, this is a good intermediate step till you are ready to buy a mini baby grand piano or an electronic baby grand piano. It's worth the money for the brilliantly clear sound and 192-note polyphony, and it will keep you happy for years. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.